Hi everybody, I'm Alessandro from projectai.com and today I'm going to show you how to recreate the projectai logo with this glow text and these waves energy on top and the uh, background and if you don't know my site you can go at project-i.com and uh, read uh, what I like to do is uh, a kind of 3D uh, web series, uh, science fiction web series. So anyway, let's start with uh, tutorial. And, and this is the final results in uh, high quality. As you can see, is a uh, very good results. Okay, now let's start. Open your software. and create a new document Control N a preset for web uh, 72 dpi 640 and 418 and color the background black okay create a new text layer white and type project i or type write whatever you want and I love to use this font Space Age is a free font downloaded from dafont.com it's nice font it's nice futuristic and sci-fi font okay okay now I'm going to uh, create the gradient on the text create a new layer empty layer select the text layer and select alpha channel to selection choose the empty layer and choose the two color for your gradient one white on top and one blue on bottom can choose the color that you prefer uh, okay and zoom in for more precision and use the gradient tool for uh, make your gradient okay now deselect with ctrl shift a and hide the text layer that we don't need to use anymore and if you don't like the final results you can correct the color with the uh, tool U and saturation this okay, more darkness with the saturated color okay yes I, I like it Okay, now we're going to create the inner glow and choose again the alpha channel to selection choose selection border one pixel if you zoom you can notice that we have the one pixel border selection create a new empty layer we call it obviously border and fill it with white it white and now we have our inner stroke for our inner glow choose the border layer go to filter Gaussian blur and set the blur on two pixel horizontal and vertical okay now we have a nice effect and change the blend mode on overlay okay good now uh, change your insertion correct your uh, color results for the gradient in the inner glow the things change okay okay now we're going to create the outer glow and select the gradient layer go to filter lights and shadow make shadows choose the blue color more uh, 
saturated and uh, powerful color and change the offset to 0 and 0 and the blur to 10 opacity 100% and click OK now we have a nice outer glow we can do make more energy by duplicating this and put one the duplicated one on top and change the blend mode on overlay so the glow affected only on the color part of the gradient and not on the white part uh, duplicate again the background layer for more power glow more energy good and of course control the final results with U and saturation as you preferred as you like okay good now we have our text layer with uh, other and in a glow and now it's time to create the wave energy on top and background and we're gonna use the filter distortion wind filter but first of all uh, chain all uh, the layer with a chain for more security and create a new layer I call wave okay and create a white solid we gonna use this white solid for our wind filter but first we are going to erase some part of this solid for create uh, a distorted solid for uh, have a better wind effect choose the rubber and uh, choose a grungy brush tool okay zooming and delete some part of this solid don't be scared to delete so much more distorted is the solid and more waves and windy effect we're going to have at the end okay yes I, I like it and now we're going to rotate this layer because uh, as in Photoshop the wind filter works only on uh, horizontal and not in vertical and so select rotate in 90 degrees okay and go to filter to filter distortion wind okay first keep your strength to no too much to 10 and to 7 okay this is the first no so and again another another wind filter for more blurriness but decrease the parameters okay okay good good effect control F for uh, reuse the same parameters of the filter and rotate the layer 90 degrees again for retaking the original position and now you can use this part of wave to uh, resize and put for create the all these waves and now I'm going to speed up this part 
for uh, show you how to do but in at this time you can uh, do everything you want about resizing positioning as you as you wish as you like okay speed up Be sure to create a soft, uh, a sort of uh, irregularity of the way, not to precision, not to uh, flat, for a more realistic and beautiful effect at the end. Okay, here we, here we go. Okay, at this point, this last part. Aligned with the point. Okay, at this point, merge all the wave layers for create one layer and duplicate and reflect vertical and merge with the top. Okay, and resize for better effect it's too long and now it's okay and now it's time to color the wave uh, the energy go to color color and change the tonality and uh, obviously add blue okay don't decrease the luminosity because we or you going to lose the white part and put first layer on the background then duplicate and put the duplicated layer on top as you can see the text layer disappear uh, we're going ch to change our blend mode on uh, screen and going to resize the top wave only on and vertical okay and quite well and obviously you can correct the final result with the opacity of the top layer for uh, view more view the text layer okay uh, here we go we have done this is the final results you can experiment all different color and uh, different uh, fonts but uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, mm, thank you sorry for uh, my English and I hope you like it and anyway see you to the next tutorial goodbye